Peggy 16. When I first heard about the idea of developing a game with such important and so many water locations, it did cause a little bit of panic, to be honest, because these things are traditionally very hard to do in real-time CG. But for us in this game, the ocean is such a pivotal location where many, many of the important scenes happen there. It was important to find a way to do it and do it well. Animation plays a big part in developing a game that's on a sea surface. Obviously, we have the sea simulation. We have a boat that needs to react and behave in a believable manner on that surface. And then we have the characters that also need to react. In order to get the characters behaving realistically on the boat, we tried various different techniques of motion capture. We had performances completed on a movable floor, and that simulated the rocking behavior of the boat. All these different elements the sea simulation, the boat rocking, and the characters all needed to work cohesively together for any given scene. We have a procedural sea surface that's used throughout the game. It can generate varying levels of storminess, so it can go from calm right up to a raging storm that we see in one of the levels. The system can tell where things are floating in the water and generate foam around them and generate wakes from boats and that kind of thing. So that really helped us. In terms of the underwater, we looked at using volumetric lights and mist to create this illusion that light is actually traveling through the water and diffusing and dispersing as it hits the water, which was quite a difficult effect to achieve. To capture the audio for the dive boat, we rented a small fishing boat the similar size to the dive boat in the game. We went out with a multi-track recorder, some microphones, and positioned them in all the different angles that you need to capture the various sounds the boat makes from the motor, the water slushing against the hull, and the wind in the rigging. We got lucky actually on the day we went out recording. As soon as we left the safety of the harbour, a squall blew up and the waves got pretty choppy, which was great for the storm in the game. We got plenty of good source material, with the boat lurching and rocking about and creaking and groaning. We brought the audio back from sea, dried them out and then chopped them up into loops and bits and pieces in a similar way you would with a car game, and then integrated those into quite a complex dynamic audio system that reacted to the movement of the boat and the weather systems and provided us some good results. As the storm encroaches in the game, we ramped up the audio elements of the wind and waves and the boat engine becomes more dynamic and reactive. This sort of mirrors the emotional state of the characters in the game. <laughs> 